Hello again. In this video we will be discussing the Compress Uncompress tool in Easy Builder Pro. We will also discuss how to convert a project from Easy Builder 8000 to Easy Builder Pro using this tool. So let's get started. So I've got a project here that I was working on. This is testing out a system. It's a RFID badge reader. The system pulls the company database and finds out whether or not they have permission to be doing what they're doing. So anyways, um, why would you want to use the compress uncompress tool? Well, perhaps you have libraries that you created that aren't standard libraries in Easy Builder Pro. And you may want to share your project with somebody for development or support or whatever other reason. Uh, and as I'm going to show you a little later on, you can also use it as a conversion tool to bring an older Easy Builder project up to Easy Builder Pro. So it's a very simple operation. Uh, just go to File and select Compress Uncompress. And uh, you get the Compress Uncompress dialog here. And of course from here you can do either. You can compress or uncompress a project. So the first thing you need to do is select your project you want to compress. Now if you do it from the project that you want to compress it will already populate these boxes right here. And it will place the compressed file in the same file register as, as it was pulled from by default or you could select maybe a flash drive or another folder. And then you simply click compressing. And you can see it's finished. And to uh, uncompress, you would simply follow the same process. And here's my compressed file. I am going to just select a folder on my desktop say new folder 2 and I'll give it a name I'll call it uncompressed and then simply click uncompressing now uh, it's seeing that I've got these libraries and it asked me do I want to replace them with the ones that are in that one and uh, of course it's all the same libraries to me so it doesn't matter so I'll just say yes to all and there you can see it's finished so now I'll bring up our new folder too and here you can see is our project uh, same very same project that we had here And as you can see, it saved a copy of it and bundled all the libraries and everything together. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new folder here. And I'll call it uh, Video. And I'm going to put a uh, an old project in here, an MT8000 project that a, uh, I actually converted this one for a customer the other day. And uh, so I'm going to put it in this folder here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, open this project up. 8000, you will find the Compress Uncompressed tool under Tools. And select Compress Uncompress. And uh, we've got our file here. So I'm going to go ahead and click Compressing. All done there. So now we'll bring up uh, an instance of Easy Builder Pro. And uh, bring up our Compress Uncompressed tool. And under Uncompress, we want to find our 
compressed file. And uh, simply click uncompressing. Exit. Now we can go ahead and, uh, and open our project up now. Whenever you do a conversion from Easy Builder 8000 to Easy Builder Pro, the first thing it's going to want you to do is select a new model, one that fits Easy Builder Pro. So I'm going to go ahead and select our MT8071IE. And for some reason, always email is enabled. Uh, it didn't used to support email. Now here it says that because of the different drivers and all that, it changed the virtual COM port to, from COM1 to COM2 for RS485 two-wire, which this project is. Now I'll tell you one other thing that can cause some errors. In Easy Builder 8000, the data samples could share a destination folder and it caused a problem because the files could overwrite each other. So you may want to go ahead and check if there's data sampling, if, uh, if you have duplicate files. And if they are duplicate, just change the file name. So uh, let's go ahead and save and compile our project, see if it worked. And there you go. That's about all there is to it. Thanks for watching and be sure to come back and see more of our instructional videos.